Hello, uh, my name is Pat Duff, and uh, I am currently 483 to 485 pounds uh, with uh, with uh, with clothes on, maybe soaking wet. Nevertheless, I'm a big guy. I'm making this video um, because. Today was the first day I was able to get out and walk without too much pain in my left knee to um, to go actually go to the gym and um, and uh, you know able to exercise a little bit um, and uh, this is the heaviest I've ever been um, and I'm just I'm. I went to the gym today and it's remarkable how better mood I am or have been in now since a week, two weeks ago. Um, you know, the, I joined a really good gym a few months ago after watching, you know, Tom Talks with Tom Segura and his guest was uh, Ethan Supli, um, who was 550 pounds addicted to as he said, I think, uh, hamburgers and heroin. <laughs> so, um, and now he's absolutely jacked and, you know, he's going to be in a movie with, um, Magic Mike Channing Tatum. And, um, you know, that really inspired me. It made me, it made me very emotional. Um, I have a, I have a, uh, an addictive personality. I, uh, I consume and eat and, uh, you know, drink at, at without total, re you know, regard for my health or, you know, sanity even. Um, I am, uh, I eat and consume food to great, great grand excesses. And, um, I have for the past few years, at least, um, and, uh, you know, I'm going to start making some videos to try to document and keep myself accountable. And, uh, hopefully if you're, you know, if you're out there, if you're watching this and, um, you're trying to do the same, you know, that you're not alone and, um, you know, that, uh, I think, uh, I think, uh, you know, the Lord is on my side and, um, you know, today is really a ma an amazing day. Um, tomorrow, starting tomorrow, I'm going to sign up for, um, for, uh, personal training. I'm going to start going to the gym regularly before work. Um, uh, I, you know, I really regret, I really debated in my mind making this video because, um, you know, I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to, I didn't even know if I was fully committed until a couple days ago to trying to change my lifestyle habits and my eating. I mean, even as I talk now, I'm just in my head, I'm just like, you're so fucking full of shit. You're going to fucking fail and everybody, and there's going to be a documentary of your failure. But, um, you know, the reason I'm making this is to be accountable. And, um, you know, I haven't made a video on posted on YouTube in years. Um, but in that time I've managed to, uh, become, uh, you know, I managed to, uh, to curb, uh, some of my other addictions, which I'm not going to talk about, but, um, you know, I haven't, I haven't conquered food yet and it's taken this amount of time to make myself aware that, um, you know, I do, I do have a real problem. I do have a, a binge eating, you know, disorder and, um, and, uh, I've needed help for a long time and have totally been delusional, uh, not only about my looks, but about, um, a lot of things. 
and I would tell myself, oh, women are still attracted to me. Um, but it's, if I look at, if I honestly look at it right now, I'm the heaviest I've ever been, and I, uh, I am totally delusional about my appearance and about, you know, even, even to the extent, um, I thought it was delusional. I thought it was okay and healthy because, you know, I was dating someone. Um, but that person wasn't a, a healthy person. And, um, and it kind of fed the delusion for a long time. And, uh, the truth is right now, like it's kind of, it's going to sound a little gross, but I can't really have sex. I can't really, you know, make love to a woman properly. These are things that I don't think people talk about. Um, but like, I'm, I'm so big right now that it's just not physically possible. And that's, that's a motivator. That's a, it's really a benefit. It's really kind of a, a sweetener about getting healthy. The, the, you know, and that has been a motivator for me in the past to, to try to get healthy before, but I'm doing this now so I could become more mobile. I'm, I'm getting to that point. I'm at that point where I'm almost a quarter of a ton and my knees are giving out. Like my left knee is, has been in pain for weeks. And that was after just walking in some sand for a little bit. And, um, my, my mobility is, is, is drastically falling apart. I'm losing if I lose the ability to walk, then I'm, I'm dead. You know, I'm going to die. I, I really, I feel like I feel this now, like it's become apparent, like, you know, I would go to doctor's appointments and I would look at, you know, I have perfect blood pressure every time I go to the doctors and I, I really, but in the back of my mind, I'm like, you're on borrowed time, you know? And I, um, I know I'm on borrowed time. You know, my dad, I figure I, I have till about 32 to 34 before I'm a full blown diabetic and you know, the depression and the kidney problems, the eyesight, all that, you know, I don't want to be like my dad. You know, I love my dad a lot and I lost him when I was 13, 12 going on 13. Um, but I do not want to be like him. He was a great person, but he definitely had his demons and, um, you know, that he's an angel, but he's not an idol. And, um, that's how I look at it. You know, I don't want to go down that road and, um, being so sick. I can't, I can't be there for, you know, if the Lord decides I should have children, you know, I can't be there for that person. My, my niece, I want to be there for my niece. You know, I want to be able to play with her without, you know, you know, being so flat footed and immobile and out of breath that I can't do it, you know? So there's more at stake this time. I have to, I have to remind myself that so I don't be complacent. And I really just have to show up this time. I mean, talk is fucking cheap. Um, but, you know, I know this is going to be out on the web and public and stuff. But um, I, uh, I, I'm not asking for encouragement. I'm not asking for money. I'm not asking for um, thumbs up. I'm not asking for shares. I'm not asking for really anything. I'm just doing this so that um, I know what's at stake and um, I just hope uh, I just hope I can show up one day at a time so thank you